Hi, I'm Denny. I'm a research assistant at Dalhousie University Faculty of Agriculture in Canada. I was a student at Anamali University back in 2010. Uh, my time at Anamali University gave me a lot of opportunities, uh, such as um, I got chance to meet with a lot of students from all over India, especially from Andhra Pradesh and Northeast India. And that uh, gave me opportunity to, uh, that improved my uh, language and vocabulary. Uh, also, my time at Anamali gave me a lot of uh, hands-on experience and time uh, and mm, meet up with a lot of great professors who helped me to shape my career today. Uh, so it was back in uh, 2012, um, Dr. Arivadana Besar, he uh, talked about this program to me uh, because I was interested in master's program and it was a dual degree program. At uh, that time, Anamali University had uh, a type program with uh, Dalhousie University where you do three years at Anamali and 1.5 years at uh, at Dalhousie University. So, uh, since I was interested in research and masters, Dr. Uh, Arvind Nambi, uh, sir, uh, he suggested me to uh, do it abroad, uh, and it was a it was a good call. Uh, but in the beginning, it was a big struggle for me. It was a it was a challenge for me because um, here, uh, in f at, uh, when you are in fourth year, you do a fourth year research, and which is like a mini thesis, mini master's thesis. So you do you write you do experiment, you design experiment, and then you write thesis. You will have a supervisor. So uh, coming from uh, like India, so to North America, education system is so different. So that time I didn't know what uh, what was a research, uh, what was a literature review or a journal. I didn't know how to look for a uh, literature review. I didn't know um, the search engines like uh, Google Scholar or Web of Science. Uh, but uh, with the help of my uh, mentor and um, my seniors, I overcome that challenge. And then after I finished my fourth year, then it was uh, summer. And during summer time, my supervisor offered me a uh, summer job in his lab as a summer intern. So here summer uh, summer vacation is for four months. So in the lab, uh, my job was to assist other researchers such as um, master's student, PhD students and postdoctoral uh, fellows. So that helped me to improve my, uh, again, like lot of experience, lab, um, uh, field experience as well as uh, laboratory experience. And then while I was doing my summer job, uh, then my supervisor offered me a um, master's program in entomology. And that was, uh, I was happy and again that was a challenge because uh, master's here is a bit different from back home because uh, in two years here is very research intense. So we do only four courses in four years. So um, here we do our uh, statistics on program like on software we uh, there are a few there are quite uh, there are a couple of um, statistical softwares programs where you analyze your uh, data and all so but that gave me opportunity to uh, learn how to um, analyze data by myself uh, using different softwares and programs and also during that uh, two years master's program uh, I got chance to attend different conferences uh, regional level conferences and national level conferences but you will also get opportunity to um, go and attend international conferences so uh, yeah and then once my master's program was done um, like uh, my supervisor he offered me a job in the lab as a, as a lab manager um, slash um, lab technician so my duties included uh, my, my duties were like um, managing the lab and also designing experiments and when we doing summertime when we get um, and helping other uh, researchers in the lab and also doing summertime we'll get summer students and help them with um, assigning job and supervising them and such kind of things and I continued that job for three years until 2019 uh, and yeah um, my research in that lab during three years, uh, we did a lot of ecological work as well as we did a lot of bee work, uh, honeybee work as well as native pollinators. Uh, we did a lot of toxicology work as well. So that is like, if I talk about that, it's like a long, uh, like a long topic. So I um, just I'm um, briefly talking about like what we did. We did toxicology work on uh, honeybees, bumblebees, and we looked at the population of native bees um, in Nova Scotia uh, in our in maritime times. And then we did um, some monitoring of uh, several pests and all. Yeah, uh, and mostly we did like um, toxicology work, hormesis work, and synergism. And that's the and that was the kind of work we did in the in the lab. And I continued that uh, that job for 
or three years until 2019 and in 2019 I, uh, I switched to another lab which in the same department now I am working in soil science and in this lab we look at soil health uh, so we get soil samples from uh, three different uh, provinces or you can say from Atlantic uh, Canada and we we carry out a lot of different um, soil tests and we determine the soil health and we also do greenhouse gas emissions uh, from farm fields so we collect greenhouse gases from the field farm fields and we uh, we analyze them using GC gas chromatography, uh, yeah, and that's um, that's an interesting work we are doing in the lab right now. Uh, and this is what I have been doing for past um, five years uh, in. In, in two different labs so um, yeah uh, thanks for giving me this opportunity to opportunity to talk to uh, you guys um, and if you have any doubt and if you want to pursue your career abroad uh, please feel free to contact me uh, yeah and the, that's it good luck <laughs>